We're back with Richard Southern. And Richard, there's no shortage of intriguing stories to chat about today. Let's begin with something that many Canadians are struggling to explain. <laughs> Turns out, Erica, UFO sightings are through the roof during the pandemic here in Canada. So maybe we've got more time to look up into the sky, or maybe there's actually something going on up there. Mm. New report from U UFOlogy Research says sightings of unidentified flying objects across Canada, including things like levitating disks, erratic spaceships, and floating triangles, increased 46% in 2020, over 2019 levels, there were 1,243 recorded sightings last year, a record for Canada, 30% of the sightings taking place right here in Ontario. And before you go and call all these people crackpots, Erica, we've talked about the fact that the U.S. government has admitted that its uh, military pilots have recorded, you know, things they can't explain, craft moving, defying the laws of physics, and the Pentagon due to release a report before uh, June 1st, detailing what the U.S. government knows. So who knows, there might be something to this. You see a lot of strange things. you got to look at me every day, right, Eric? <laughs> no, not at all. But I will say for the UFO part of it, I think a small percentage are actually unexplained. The rest of them you can sort of attribute to balloons or... Or, you know, planes or something like that. Or too many, too many cocktails or maybe something. Maybe that but yeah, too. <laughs> There's something uh, to it. Maybe we'll get more in this report. Uh, we'll let you know about that when we get it in from the U.S. government. All right. And speaking of space, we could be seeing some remarkable new video from Mars over the coming month. Uh, if you were a Martian, this would be a UFO to you. This is really cool. This is the, the helicopter that's attached to the new rover on Mars. The helicopter is called Ingenuity. There it is now hanging from the belly of the, the new rover there. And... All its legs are extended, and this is what's going to happen. This is a dramatization, right? In the coming days, they think it might be April 6th, this chopper is going to take flight, and if it works, it's going to be the first powered, controlled flight on another planet. The first flight is only going to take it about 3 meters or 10 feet off the ground uh, for maybe 30 seconds. Subsequent flights, though, it's going to go higher. It's going to have a little camera on it. Really fun fact here, there's a little piece, Erica, of the Wright brothers' first plane from 1903 attached to this this, this uh, little drone. So in just over 100 years, we've gone from the first flight to a flight on another planet. It's wild. That's pretty incredible. And I think it's so cool that they can just send it instructions from Earth to, to know, uh, discover things on Mars. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can't fly it from Earth. It's like a 12-minute lag time. Right. So, yeah. um, and finally, there are rumors floating around that it could be game over soon for a very popular <laughs> video game character. Super Mario, they say. He might be uh, might be killed off, Erica. No. You're Super Mario guy? No, I person? love Super Mario. Super Mario Kart, especially. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Anyways, internet freaking out. They think uh, they're going to end uh, the character of Mario. Fans think this because uh, Nintendo is ending sales of new Mario games today, which they're taking as a sign that, you know, maybe something is up here. Mario, though, celebrating its 35th anniversary this year. It could maybe be an April Fool's Day joke. I was always more of a Luigi guy anyways. <laughs> He's oh. too fast for me. I can't control him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Richard. Uh, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.